Low-carb diets have become a go-to strategy for weight loss, energy, and metabolic health. From keto to paleo to Atkins, cutting carbs has never been more popular. But what happens when we take it too far? In today's video, we're exploring the potential dangers and side effects of low-carb diets. While cutting carbs may work for some, it comes with risks you should know before committing long-term. First, let's define what we mean by low-carb. Most standard diets include 45-65% to 65 of calories from carbohydrates. A low-carb diet typically cuts that down to under 30%, or in the case of keto, under 10%. Ketogenic or keto is very low-carb and high-fat. Paleo eliminates grains and focuses on meats and vegetables. Atkins takes a phased approach to reducing carbs. While these can lead to quick weight loss and blood sugar control, long-term effects vary and are often misunderstood. Many low-carb diets eliminate whole food groups like fruits, legumes, and whole grains. These foods are rich in vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants that are hard to replace. Risks include vitamin C, A, and B deficiencies, low magnesium and potassium, and a lack of fiber leading to constipation. To mitigate these risks, you can incorporate non-starchy vegetables and low-glycemic fruits like berries, even on low-carb plans. Carbohydrates play a key role in regulating hormones, especially for women. Going too low in carbs can cause issues with thyroid function, menstrual cycles, and cortisol regulation. Irregular periods or amenorrhea, fatigue, hair thinning, and increased stress hormone levels are some potential effects. So, moderate your carb intake and avoid going ultra-low unless medically supervised. Your brain runs primarily on glucose, a carbohydrate-derived fuel. When carbs are restricted, the brain must adapt to using ketones which can lead to temporary or long-term mental sluggishness. You might experience difficulty concentrating, memory lapses and low motivation or irritability. Some adapt well. Others may feel off for weeks or months. If you notice these symptoms, try adding complex carbs like quinoa, oats or root vegetables. A healthy gut thrives on prebiotic fibers, many of which come from carb-rich foods like legumes, fruits, and whole grains. Without them, gut bacteria diversity may decline, leading to digestive issues and weakened immunity. Constipation, bloating or discomfort, weakened immune response. Support gut health by including fiber-rich vegetables, fermented foods, and a probiotic if needed. Let's be honest, how many people can realistically stick to ultra-low-carb diets for life? Studies show that while low-carb diets can work short-term, most people regain weight when carbs return. Social restrictions, cravings and binge cycles, nutritional boredom. Instead of extreme carb cutting, aim for a balanced approach. Reduce refined carbs but keep whole food carbs for long-term success. For some, low-carb or ketogenic diets offer real benefits, especially for managing type 2 diabetes, epilepsy, or insulin resistance. But for the average person, going too low in carbs can create more problems than it solves. The key? Personalization. There is no one-size-fits-all diet. Your needs depend on your age, goals, activity level, and health conditions. Have you tried a low-carb diet? What was your experience? Drop your story in the comments, we'd love to hear it. And if you found this helpful, give this video a like, subscribe for more wellness wisdom, and tap the bell so you never miss a new episode. Eat smart, stay balanced, feel amazing.